Everybody, it's uh, Chris over Dixieland Farm, and today I'm going to show you the computer that I use with my Myth TV. Now, my last video I showed a Raspberry Pi. This little guy, 35 bucks, usually around 60 bucks after you add the power supply case and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, this little guy did not live up to my uh, needs. It's good, but we have a 60 inch TV, and with the Myth TV light package, you can see on camera motion, in the background where the motion is, a little shutter as the camera moves. So if there was a camera sweep, you'd see just a little bit. Now listen, I worked in TV, I see these things. My wife worked in TV, she never saw what I was talking about. But it was annoying me <laughs> to no end. And uh, so Open Elec uses a, a that's an operating system that has Kodi installed. Kodi, I think, is like the next generation of XBMC, which was an Xbox media player. That does not have the problem. However, the video quality on that was just a little bit less. And a uh, deal breaker for me was the interface was not what we, we were used to. And when you wanted to skip ahead, there was like a three second delay opposed to it being instantaneous. Since we uh, skip over commercials all the time, that wasn't going to work for us. So, unfortunately, the Raspberry Pi did not do it. And this was the computer that uh, we used to have. So, uh, this was a DC7100. Made a little bit of noise. Had to have a um, wireless keyboard, which that's the adapter. And I also had a, a USB um, adapter for wireless activity as well. Yeah, come on. Let's go see what the new computer is. The new computer is a Jetway uh, NVIDIA Ion Atom processor um, you know, box here. Here it is. It's the size of basically a large paperback book. And I'm going to power it on so you can see. So this is running Ubuntu. It comes with a remote control. So uh, I programmed my Harmony remote to turn on both my TV and the net box. It takes about 30 seconds or so to boot up. And like I said, it comes with a remote, and that remote um, works as a uh, keyboard and a wireless mouse. So if you know anything about setting up Mythbuntu or uh, uh, Myth TV at all, uh, you'll know that using the LIRC uh, program is not the easiest thing to do. You don't have to worry about that. This is basic keyboard commands. The up, you know, down, left, right, enter, all that stuff kind of works. You just program a few keys the way you like them, and you're ready to go. So here we go. It's already booted up, and you can see it moves pretty fast. Even though it's an Atom processor, um, the actual video decoding is I done by VDPAL, which is otherwise known as uh, you know the NVIDIA built-in. So look, you can just skip over the commercials much quicker, 10, 20, and no video artifacts at all. The NVIDIA chip does much better with Myth TV uh, doing the decoding. Uh, the deinsulators that are built into the hardware are uh, much nicer. So uh, with the software decoding, you know, I notice the lips don't quite, you know, they kind of mush the frames, and this is much, much snappier. And so I have the remote program to just turn on the device when the TV comes on, and when I turn the TV off, the box shuts down. I think it consumes about 30 watts of power. Um, the fan, you can hear it's, I mean, it's dead silent. When you're playing 1080 stuff for a while, it, the fan will come on, but you can't hear it over the TV. And that's only 1080, 720 stuff, I've never heard the fan come on yet. So um, if you have any questions about this particular setup, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, who watch my channel won't be interested in the Myth TV stuff set up. This is for just Myth TV people or anybody doing searches and want to find a good front end that's cheap. This was 179 shipped, came with a solid state hard drive, uh, the memory, so and the remote of course comes with it. So for a brand new PC that's a great front end that's dead silent, that looks great on a large TV, um, you know, this is definitely the way to go. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care.